Now let's discuss your procedure. When you are ready, medication will be given through your IV to make you feel sleepy and relaxed. To make the examination more comfortable, your health care provider will also spray a numbing medication into the back of your throat, or you may gargle with it. This may taste slightly bitter and will make your mouth and throat numb for approximately 30 minutes. Then you will be positioned on your left side or on your stomach. A small plastic mouthpiece or guard will be put in your mouth to prevent you from accidentally biting the tube or the doctor's finger when the tube is slowly placed into your esophagus or food pipe. In order to help relax the muscles in the back of your throat and help open the passageway, you will need to take slow, deep breaths. You will then be instructed to put your chin to your chest and open your mouth. As the doctor begins to push the tube in, you will be asked to swallow. Swallowing makes the tube go down more easily. If you gag when the tube enters your food pipe, your health care provider will spray more numbing medicine on your throat to decrease your gag reflex and make you more comfortable. Once the endoscope is inside your digestive tract, your doctor will examine your stomach and pass the tube into the duodenum. While your doctor is examining structures, a photograph, biopsy, or cytology may be taken. A biopsy is a small sample of tissue, while cytology is a brushing of cells. To better see the area, your duodenum is gently filled with a small quantity of air through the endoscope. While this air may cause you to feel full, it should not be painful. This will help your doctor find the main opening where the pancreatic and bile ducts empty into the duodenum. Once found, your doctor will carefully insert a plastic tube into the duct and inject a small amount of dye. You may experience some discomfort or nausea when the dye is injected, but this should not last long. This special dye shows up on the x-ray screen and allows your doctor to see any blockages that may be present. Your doctor will repeat the injection of dye several times, looking at the ducts from different angles. You may be asked to switch positions during this part of the exam so that your doctor can clearly view all of the necessary areas. If your doctor notes a stricture or a narrowing of a duct, your duct may be dilated or enlarged by balloon dilators. During balloon dilation, your doctor inserts a special balloon-tipped catheter through the endoscope and into your duct and guides it to the narrowed area. Once the balloon catheter is correctly placed, it is inflated and deflated several times to increase the size of your duct by stretching it. This might cause you to experience abdominal pain that lasts for 15 to 20 seconds. Because your duct can quickly return to its smaller size after a simple dilation or enlargement, a stent might be placed to maintain the duct opening. The stent can be an expandable brace for the inside of the duct that is mounted on another balloon catheter. The stent and balloon are advanced to the area and the stent is expanded into place. A plastic stent can also be used. Within several weeks after stent placement, the body will grow tissue around the stent to help maintain its position. The stent will not move around inside your body and you will not feel it. When the examination is finished, the doctor will slowly pull the tube out through your mouth. You'll be asked to clear your throat and spit out any saliva or phlegm. Your health care provider will continue to watch you for 15 to 30 minutes after the procedure to be sure you are recovering normally. Then the IV will be removed. The procedure usually takes from one to three hours, but this varies from patient to patient.